dolls. Okay, so I have not made an actual sit down video in a while. Uh, the last video that you guys have probably seen was my Disneyland haul and I filmed that like right when I got back. So it's been like a couple weeks since I've, I've actually sat down and made a video. So if I'm a little scatterbrain and all over the place, please bear with me. I just got back from work. It is very dreary and rainy and cold today. It's just one of those days where you just want to put on your pajamas and snuggle in bed with some warm tea and a candle lit and just binge watch your favorite Netflix series or Disney TV shows or Disney movies. Just it's one of those days <laughs> which I love but I hate because I do like fall. I do love wearing big hoodies and kigurumis, onesies, things like that but at the same time I'm just like I miss summer. I didn't really get to experience summer this year because I had to work most all of it so I didn't really get to experience summer. But I do have a video for you guys. Oh, but before I get into it, I know I'm going to get questions on this. This is my new Lisa Frank hoodie that I got from Hot Topic. I also wanted to share these with you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you miss my monthly favorites videos because I go, I have this habit where I start doing them and then I get in the habit of doing them every month and then it kind of just dies down and I don't do them anymore which is weird because I'm still continuing to get new products that I like or new items that I have been loving and I just stopped doing it. I don't know why. You guys seem to really love those videos so if you want me to bring them back for the billionth time and then probably take them away again later uh, let me know in the comments down below but I just got these slippers from Target and I had to share them with you guys really quick. Uh, they look like cotton candy. They're just pink and purple. Uh, the bottoms, this one's not dirty so I can show it to you. I have worn these every single day since I got them. But they are women's sizes. They're not little kid sizes. This is a 5-6 size a small and they look like this. They're so plushy and so soft and they were about $17 or $18 I think at Target but they're so amazing and my feet are cold all the time so to have something that is this big and fluffy uh, it warms my toes up really quick and they are crazy comfortable and I've been wearing them every single day. So, uh, anyway, the purpose for this video is I'm going to be doing an unboxing of, <laughs> I know the box looks treacherous, I'll get to that in a second, but this is from Happily Ever After, um, I can't remember, remember if they're on Etsy or Store Envy, there's a business card in here which I'll show you guys in a minute, um, but she specializes in sending out mystery Disney boxes and she has different listings on her site so you can pick like a princess box or like a Toy Story box or like um, an animals box that has like different Disney animals in it which is the one that I wanted. She decided to send me one of her boxes in exchange for a video unboxing reviewing it I guess you could say. I have no idea what's in here that's why it's a mystery box. Uh, I know there's mystery boxes going around on like eBay and stuff and I wanted to let you guys know I did order a mystery box off of eBay for ten dollars and I plan on doing that video so if you guys are excited to see like me just opening up a mystery box of who knows what uh, stay tuned and get excited because that'll be eventually on my channel. Um, but this is basically like kind of the same concept except it has a theme and you have an idea of what you're going to get. Uh, I will put her Instagram and shop link in the description box below. But this is how the box came to me. It shipped uh, from a different country. So it got a little battered and banged up during shipping, but uh, I messaged her and she told me that it should be okay because she packaged everything really well so that nothing would get destroyed or ruined in shipping, which I appreciate, especially since it was being sent overseas. So in this little uh, envelope right here, she wrote a little note on the front and the business cards are in here. Uh, it's ha Happily Ever After Box on Instagram and Facebook, and you can shop her shop 
on Shopify at happilyeveraffterboxes.com. So if you want this information, go ahead and screenshot right now, or you can just check the description box below. I will leave all of the links to find everything there. I'm very excited about this and I can't wait to see what's inside. I did tell her that I loved um, Aristocats, Bambi, uh, Lion King, mainly just animal characters from Disney. So we'll see what we have in here. And I saw some other people unbox. Um, they posted on Instagram their pictures of what they got in their boxes and it all looked so cute. So let's see what we have. We have lots of tissue paper. Oh, everything is wrapped so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first I'll start with this little thing in here. This is just a little fun collectible card. It's the uh, Disney Princess trading card game. And look, it's Lucifer from Cinderella. So cute. I love that. All right. And the boxes come in different sizes and different prices. So if you don't want like a huge box full of goodies and pay like top dollar for it, there are smaller versions listed. So you could get like the princess box, but instead of paying like a lot of money for a huge box, you could just get a smaller box with only a couple items in it and just pay less for that. So it's, it's still like you have that feeling of being surprised and that it's a mystery, but it's not breaking the bank, which I appreciate so much. And I figured that this would be a perfect video to do right now anyway, because I just got back from Disneyland and I'm still on that kind of post-vacation depression, post-Disney depression. So this kind of just like rekindles my Disney obsession and love right now. So it helps me, it helps me get through my little spell of depression right now from not being at Disneyland. Here I'm gonna open this one. It has princess wrapping paper all over. I'm just gonna cut these ribbons. I need a garbage pile here. There we go. What is this? Oh my gosh, how cute! Oh my gosh. It is a Bambi shopping tote bag. Like one of those uh reusable grocery bags and it's Bambi with roses all over it and it's pink and it's huge <gasps> yay so then in here we have another little wrapped goodie and I see some Minnie Mouse peeking through some Minnie Mouse wrapping oh very cute Minnie Mouse wrapping and you guys whenever you get packages like this you can always save the wrappers or the packaging or whatever it is, what, whether it be like wrapping paper or whatever, um, save it and get a clear case for your phone, no matter what device you have, and then cut out a little chunk of it to fit in the phone case. And then boom, you have your very own custom little phone case. And then the wrapping paper isn't going to waste. It's not just going directly in the trash or whatever. Oh, we have some Finding Dory stickers. My mom would love these, you guys. She loves like Dory and stuff. So this is very cute. Look at the little otter right there. So cute. Aw, I love it. It's got everybody. Actually, let's put everything in the Bambi bag. How about that? Let's do that. There we go. Haha, <laughs> organization 101. <laughs> Next up, I'm just gonna open this one. She's got a little sticker on there that says, Happily Ever After. What are you? It feels like a picture frame. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I can't get it open fast enough. Sorry, there's still more bubble wrap, which is good. Thank you for putting so much thought into packaging this because otherwise this probably would have come broken and I would have cried. Oh my gosh and now see this is one of those things where you have to question it was this purchased or homemade regardless either it is so cute and if this is homemade that just puts like an extra spin on this box because you're getting something super unique you know that you can't necessarily just go buy in stores but if this was bought thank you if this was made thank you this is 
adorable it's a frame that has little rhinestones all around and it says the aristocats and it's got all of the kitties on there including thomas o'malley and Mari. she's right down there and duchess and toulouse and berlioz oh, i love it it's so precious um there's this little oh, I don't know why I made that noise. There's this little tiny dust baggie in here. And in here is a bottle cap pin of Marie. That is very, very cute. Love that. Next thing we have, what is this? Frozen soap on a rope? What? <laughs> There's Olaf in here. Oh my gosh. This smells divine. I like the smell of this. Here we go, it is, it's a soap on our rope. And you can like use this in your bath or whatever, but see it's Olaf. Very cute, use your Olaf soap on a rope to transform your bath time into a frozen adventure. This oddly shaped thing, it feels like a pencil with a giant like eraser top. So let's see, it is, and it is, oops. It is oops, <laughs> oh, it is Monsters Inc. Very cute. So it has Mike Wazowski as the little eraser top. And then the pencil has Mike. And I think is Sully. Yeah, Sully's on there. And Boo. Very cute. Oh my gosh, there's so many tiny little things. So we have Flounder. Is this an eraser? Yes. It feels like an eraser. And it is the Tsum Tsum Flounder. Very cute. That is precious. In this little one, we have a heart. Oh, that is the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. This can be so cute, just like hung from like a car mirror or your keys or even as an ornament to hang on your Christmas tree, which is probably what I'm going to use it for because it's got that red like ornamenty vibe to it very cute again this is one of those things where it's like is it handmade or is it bought like it's very cute it's got like a sparkly layer on it very cute i'm saying cute too much but that's okay and then in this little pink dust baggie we have marie earrings and you guys know my first holes are gauged up but I do have second holes that I can wear regular earrings in, which you bet your booty. <laughs> That's what I'm going to wear these in. Look at, so cute. Aren't they so precious? I'm going to try and put one of these in right now. There we go. So you guys can see. I can wear it. Yay. <laughs> I'm super, so, super stoked. I'm super stoked about those guys. Super stoked. We have, ooh, we have a huge, oh, that's sad. There was a huge bow in here, but it got mutilated by the shipping. Um, before I get into that, though, let's open this little Minnie Mouse one. Oh, cute, cute. Oh, it's a little um, Sebastian little coin purse with one of the little star, or not starfish, seahorses, excuse me, one of the little seahorses on the tag. Very precious, and it has Ariel right there in a little silhouette. And there's the back, and then the zipper is pink, as well as the inside. And this is actual Disney brand, so you can see it's not like knockoff or anything like that. It's very precious. We'll open this one next. This is from the actual Disneyland Resort, and it looks like Nala. Very cute. It says Disneyland uh, Resort Paris on it, so it traveled a long way. And unfortunately on this one, I'm going to show you guys, there is a pin mark on her tummy right there, but... 
fun fact that is an easy 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 fix all I got to do is wash her um, like you would clothing just put her in a pillowcase so like none of the beads inside of her get snagged on anything or her tail doesn't get stuck in the washer or dryer put it in a pillowcase wash it like you would your clothes and put her in the dryer and she should be good as new that should come right out it looks like pen ink so I don't think there is any reason that it should stay in there but she is very cute little plushy beanie baby okay and I think the very last thing in here is this one with the giant bow on it oh cute it's a Finding Nemo sleep mask hold on let me actually open it this will be perfect for my mom too because she uses the sleep mask every night, but the one that she's been using is like so old and it's like ripping in places and I told her that I wanted to get her a new one. So she'll love this. It's a Fighting Nemo sleep mask and I'm going to give this to her because she'll get more use out of it than I will because I have mine. Oh, I can't find it right now. It should be right here. But you guys know I have the uh, Panda Bear one from Claire's and it's been holding up amazingly. So I'm not in need of one right now. I cannot find it to save my life, but it should be right here. I don't know. I have that one and um, maybe I will need this one if I can't find the other one. But that's everything in my little surprise happily ever after box. That was fun, definitely different. And again, it's fun to kind of have that sense of mystery and like anxiousness suspense of not knowing what you're going to get which is different and I love that some of these items were handcrafted because they appear to be and if that is the case that is such an awesome thing to have especially since you know it's like so so unique and custom and no one else has it you know what I mean so definitely thank you so much for sending me over this little box of goodies I'd have to say out of everything the Bambi bag is my favorite because it's the roses and pink and Bambi and just like the epitome of who I am. But that's everything in my little surprise happily ever after box. That was fun. Definitely different. And again, it's fun to kind of have that sense of mystery and like anxiousness suspense of not knowing what you're going to get which is different and I love that some of these items were handcrafted because they appear to be and if that is the case that is such an awesome thing to have especially since you know it's like so so unique and custom and no one else has it you know what I mean so definitely thank you so much for sending me over this little box of goodies I'd have to say out of everything the Bambi bag is my favorite because it's the roses and pink and Bambi and just like the epitome of who I am. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in the shop and the business and all of that stuff, it's happily ever after box on Instagram and uh, I think there's a link in the bio where you can go and uh, go to the actual webpage and stuff. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for sending me this little box of goodies to uh, unbox and review. Um, I'm happy with it and I hope to talk to you guys soon-ish, I hope. And like I said, I will be doing that um, eBay mystery box unboxing soon-ish whenever it comes. I ordered it like day before yesterday, so I don't know. You guys will see it eventually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you all next time. So, oh, and I also wanted to say thank you guys so, so, so much for being so kind and supportive of my Disney vlogs. I know they weren't like what you'd want to see typically like a lot of people would prefer to instead of me um like filming what's going on around me with like music behind they would prefer me to talk to the camera and everything and that's what i had originally intended to do when i went but when you're in an environment like that and you're so overwhelmed by everything around you because it's so like pretty and colorful, you don't want to be worrying about whether or not your face is in focus or anything like that. And you want to be able to look at things with your naked eye rather than through a camera lens. You want to look 
through your own eyes at this beautiful place and I didn't want to focus too much on vlogging my whole entire trip. Um, I wanted to focus a lot more on just spending time with my mom and just being back in Disneyland because I had missed it so 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 much and I really wanted to just take it all in and just be appreciative of what I worked for and just like I said spend time with my mom I didn't want to worry so much about filming and everything because I would have been neglecting her if I had filmed like a lot or anything it's a 13 to 17 hour day each day but you guys only saw like 8 to 20 minutes of it so just know that I did have a blast and my mom had an amazing time we already came back and she's like we have to go back I want to go back we gotta go back again and it's just so cute and I do I, I really do want to go back so I'm gonna see if I can't aim to go next year with that being said I'm gonna let you guys go because this was just supposed to be an unboxing my my videos are never scripted so it's like whatever happens happens whatever comes out comes out I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go I hope you all enjoyed this little unboxing and I will talk to you all next time so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you Bye.